Where are you right now? Did you choose to be here? How many things in life we actually get to choose? And how many things are just the way they are? Do we all have the same starting point? In Uganda, more than half of the population is children and youth. Every female gives birth to five children in average. Many get married in early age and have no planning. Although the Ugandan government is trying to reduce birth rate, it has been rising through the years. The amount of immigrants coming to cities has also been rising over the years. The village life people have lived for years has become difficult to live in today. Therefore, many leave the village for the benefits of the city. As urbanization has grown, so have cities. And as the city grows, the urban poverty increases. We'll share with you one story. A story of children and youth who never chose their starting point. My name is Gilbert Simoge from Uganda, Kampala. And I'm here to give you a little knowledge about street children as a former street child. You know, they are not street children because streets, they don't give birth. But they are children living on the street. And they, they end up living on street for different reasons. When they come to streets, they have no parent, they have none, nobody, they are living on their own. You become a parent of your own on the age of eight. Some they are born by street fathers, people who grew on the street. If you don't know this life, it's hard for you to feel it. You, know? you find a kid who is like nine years sleeping outside on the street at night and then will be beaten by police, will be beaten by big youth, will be, you know, there's no security. everyone hope you are doing well out there my name is Award Mark I'm a Ugandan and I come from the eastern part of Uganda here we are standing right now it's the biggest slum in Uganda where accommodates most homeless children and homeless people in this slum this kind of people face many challenges when they are on the slums because of poverty lack of proper shelter lack of food lack of medication and also Lack of education. Life on the streets is not easy. On the streets, there's many challenges. So the streets is like their home, and the streets is like their teacher, the streets is like their mother. But who? The children are with children. See that? He gets the, the metals, so he mixes with plastic, save this of the plastic. So after buying the foot of the metals, he burns the way he eats. At the very scale, he sells it for kilogram, they buy 1,000. So now we have like 3 kilograms, that's 3,000. Thank 
wale tuina bia kulia tu tuinga mnuni nyo bila mbu wafi ni wanafi nembele wangu bia kwe wakale tuina tuina wesuluka tuina wabulangiti tuina wajifunachimu wade utukolachi tuina saba na mafe na wala lava wala wala kukuliti mba tulibaji nyo wala kukuliti Bonye bonye, kat sura aku kumi alat, sura aku kumbo. Kita nak kumbu korea, dia jauh lain. Kita kat sura aku sweet. Dia tu nak uji dia waktu. Bela aku, abang na abang, bapa cema kah, makku, bapa cema mahu enjo, ne bapa, ne bapa cema makku, ne bapa jangan makku, ne bapa kuya masa si, bapa cema je cemong. Yeah, I'm called Oriyama Brian. I'm from Northern Uganda, but I live in Kampala City, in the street of Kiseni. I left my home. Just simply because my parents couldn't take me to school. There's no hope, there's no money. So they failed to pay my school fees. Then I left home. Actually, I came and started living in the ghetto here at the same. I've stayed here for three years, but there's no change. The way we get the way of a living is very hard. We collect bottles scraps the boxes the empty boxes from the city then we do sell for survival there's no money we do suffer in the ghetto here i'm going to sum for you a song it's called wake up actually the song is just to make my fellow street child to wake up i'm just giving them a message that you have no time so wake up and see the future here the song goes Oh yeah, wheezy boy, street boys, put your hands up, yeah. Then I tell you, wake up, then I sing and say, yeah. Wake up, wake up, it's time, get a child. Let's say, wake up, wake up, it's time, get a child. Let's say, to webaka, to webaka, gendo kole. Gendo no nye sente Gero boy street chai Gendo pole Gendo no nye sente Ha! Wake up in the morning Troubles on my way This while it's just rolling me Closer to my grave Kukaba kubona bona One swim street day and night Street boy get a child Please wake up I tell you got no time so Got no rap put on the game Better hustle day and night so you see the future Now it's right in your hands put again and again Try hit don't give a damn fat is Yeah They go on the streets, like, looking for school up. Other, others, who don't look for school up, others survive by stealing. You see, there's this spy here. You have the children right here. Uh, we're looking for scrap. Information for the most is taken by the, the homeless street children. Taking this fuel, it can bring off their stress. It, it, it affects them mentally, physically, and also to say that they, are, they have poor health condition. A lot of them sleep this every day. It's like a routine. And they don't think, they don't do other things. It becomes like a little routine. So when they grow up, they are sleeping this. By the end of the day, they become abnormal. Right, they don't they don't even pay, they don't even think of doing anything, just looking for scrap, scratch for the watch and come back to the street. know that today is a good day. 
Today is Sunday. Yeah, yes, it is a perfect day. Yeah. Well, 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 well. I run a work home without any reason. I know the reason why I come here on the street. Yeah. You know here to come on the street, yeah? It is just like this. When you run a watch home, when your stepmother is beating you every day. So now you can, you can run a watch home. And you said that I'm not, I will never stay at home anymore. Why not stay? Me? Oh yeah, you wanna take me back to school? No, maybe you can get a chance somewhere. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. What about your friends in West Africa, your friends in the street, why policemen come and beat you? Who do you think? You know the person come and beat you. This is it true. Yeah, it is true. Because you know every day the police came and start to beat every dirty children. Yeah. Why that? I am dirty. No. Work at night to sleep where I am. For me, at night, I'm sleeping anyway, I find, yeah, because you know that when I see the police, I have to protect myself. I have to cover myself, okay? Yep. Oh. Long time. I, you are too long time. This is the aeroplane pool. What is it? Oh, because you know that I have my problem. Some problem will make you this new. Yep. Yeah. Like that one, he was young since his childhood, but he did get luck to be empowered. And when they, they grow up, they lose hope because people don't love them and what. So when they lose hope, others end up and start with stealing. So we need to touch with the young ones so that they can change and be like those ones. Some of these kids come to street because their parents, they force them to go to school. And they don't like to go to school and they cannot choose. But they are capable of doing other things. You know? So even parents don't have like a awareness of what is the world today. But there are children from homes. People should know also how to handle children so that children don't come on the street. So that increases the number of children coming to the street every day. I know we will get support we we'll get everything but we cannot finish this without like a awareness i was once on the streets sleeping outside and feeling in that spin so that was the only solution but once i was moved from the streets and i was empowered with the skills i went back to school i managed to catch up with life The Children's Center in Kiseni is where the local volunteers take care of homeless children. Here, drugs and violence are not allowed. The children stay, share a roof, grow together, and learn from each other. The volunteers here work hard to support the children and change the situation. Everybody's welcome. Although life in the streets is harsh, but most children prosper when they are empowered. So when you're on the street, it doesn't mean to steal, it doesn't mean to, to, to harass other people. They do this because they are provoked. What they need just love, care, protection. If they get all they need, they change. And this has helped me because I should see that, change their lives. So our aim of being with them is that we support them, educationally take them back to school, rehabilitate them to proper centers and find a shelter for them where they can stay. We treat them, feed them, and also see that you can change their life to be positive. I started to help fellow children when I was 13 years, taking them to a home in Namgongo, more than 200 children. We need to take them to school. We need to give them life skills, the best skills that can make them live, you know. It's a big challenge, but together we can do something. 
to me, it, it touched my heart when I grew up and came back to these slums. I'm Chikavi David Kwagala. I'm from this ghetto, Sen Wan Parish, and this is a small area we live. As ghetto kids, I grew up in this slum, and, and kids come here with their different issues, and then we share. My dad left me when I was just seven years here on the street, and I spent all that time like six years to five to, to get an opportunity to start studying. I'm a teacher, I do cultural dance, and I learned this from all of the opportunities that come to street and I learn. It's called Chizino dance. I know my dance from the Western dance, Uganda. By strong women and men, we, we count by big dance. You know, I learned to be a rasta because where we live, we, you learn to, to understand that in life you are alone. I've been hope of going back to school, which is a big improvement. Some people think street kids may be fall from heaven. They don't fall from heaven. We need love. We need counseling. We need someone to talk to us because that's what actually makes us move away from our families and then we end up on the streets. You may say, where did you come from? Where is your dad? But I was just rejected by my dad. So everyone has a different story. And I can't say I don't know where my dad is. He's, I know where he is, but he can't care for me. They're like ducks. Because the duck, if it wakes up in the morning, it goes with this duck lyrics. So every duck has to survive. That's what happens also here to other parents. Because they don't care for their children. When they give a child, and then they put their children more than 10. And we can't feed them, they can't educate them, they can't take them to school. When we live with these kids, we try to give them skills like which we got from the homes where we grew up so that we can educate, we can mentor people who can also educate others. Because even us, if we are not equipped with the skills, I don't know what we would have been in this world. They can change their life like I did, you know?
world couldn't spell it all All the tongues and the lips couldn't tell it all We're working our way up though the pace is slow At this dictator president's ever gonna let it go Somali is a young girl, her legs still feeble And the media got it twisted, they think she crippled She gon' walk on her own along with library It's not a war going on, it's all in Nigeria The people are poor, the infants starving Let your tears be the rain, the dust is burning The Sahara's growing Sahara story, his is suffering, is suffering. Heri ile maisha ya hunting na gathering. Oni mekuwa na Kenya, si ame na wiri. Ame kuwa mkuwa na kuna msemo, ame kariri. Milele Kenya, milele Afrika. Milele wewe na mimi. Africa the man. Through the rain, through the pain. I salute you mama. Africa. No tears, no more, just my mama. mama. Through the pain. Through the rain, through the pain, I salute you, Mama Africa. No tears, no more, just Mama Mama. According to your experience, and the children that I've worked with in the past 20 years, most of them are prosperous. Because just to inform it and skills. Others do acrobatics, others do gymnastics, others right now wait back to school and they, are, they have a hope for tomorrow. Others came even now workers, others are leaders, others are doctors, others are lecturers, others are pilots. And I've done this and it has been a successful idea that we came up with. If you have a proper place where they can come and access services like mechanics, music, dancing, drama. Most of the people who come here, they are not rich people. They are students who are on holiday, come here, stay two weeks, one month. But they do a little bit which they can. But it is still a big challenge. As you see the environment, if children keep living here, there's no way you can get them out of drugs. But if you take them out of the slum, you can make for them a, like a conducive environment, a good place where they can learn well, they can get off the drugs. Never give up on kids. We are also kids, we never follow from heaven. And however small you do, and however, uh, however hard we could be, it after all works out in our life. There is hope. These young toddlers were taken from the streets to a temporary shelter under the care of a young volunteer. They're full of energy. According to World Bank data, Uganda's economy has experienced a slowdown and plunged 6% from 2019 to 2020. 
It was the sharpest economic contraction since the third quarter of 2014 due to the severe impact of COVID-19. COVID has warned the effect of poverty and up to 3 million people could fall into poverty, particularly in urban areas. About 700,000 young people reach working age every year in Uganda, and just about 75,000 jobs are created each year. We hope for a better future for the children of Kiseni, away from those dangerous streets. Thank you.